are you guys? I miss you guys. It seems like I've been out of the office more than I've been in it. Well, I didn't want to miss out in getting the Christmas stuff out there before Thanksgiving. Um, geez, time is just flying. Thanksgiving is going to be what next week? So I figured I'll go ahead and present the, the large junk journal kits for Christmas. I have a gift with purchase, which I think you don't want to miss out on. The kits are only $25, which gosh, that's pretty cheap. It's got a ton of vintage ephemera. The theme for this kit is Christmas, vintage Christmas idea, like the vintage idea books. Um, I have a whole lot of those kind of pages in this kit that are beautifully matte. It's more of the more vintage, say uh, 60s, 50s, 40s types of ideal books. Uh, pages that are absolutely beautiful. So please stay tuned to check those out. Um, if you want to grab your kit, I only have 12 guys. I didn't make a whole lot, but I did pack them. Um, so if you're going to want one, you might want to go over to the shop right now. Um, there is no like choice of book and things like that. Um, go figure, someone's calling me in the middle of it. <laughs> but, um, um, but pretty much I have a gift with purchase, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute, but it comes with trims, full packs of thread trims, things like that. And like, as you can see, it's pretty full. Um, I didn't weigh this yet, but I know it's probably over a pound and a half of goodness. Um, it's so funny you say goodness. Cause normally I wouldn't say goodness. I was going to say goodies, but, but let me go ahead and just dig right in. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time too much, but the gift with purchase first is these. Um, I have a bunch of these, uh, India, embroidered type of um, covers that I have put into my shop. I chose red for the kit, but um, if you decide you don't want red, you'd rather have like another color. If you go to my shop, down below is the, the shop link. Um, if you're new here, <laughs> as you can tell, this is a crafty group. Um, I sell um, products for those who are doing crafts and things like that. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, but down below is my shop link. Click on down below, go over there. You can see if you go under the um, fabrics of India, you'll see these here um, in the shop. I have them in green, orange, pink, purple, white, but I did red because it is Christmas themed. Figure I'd give you guys a head start on your thing. These usually go for $15. Um, and what it is here is it's a starter to get you started on making your own junk journal cover. I do have a lot of people who make pillows, um, who do different types of embroidery type things. They usually buy this fabric, cut it up to do whatever they're doing kind of thing. Um, and each one I do offer in case you're making like a junk journal, um, an inside liner, a red inside liner, a nice piece of fabric to do that. Um, I'll give you a good example. I quickly, just before I did this video, um, I, I did make a cover as you can see here. Look how much extra you have left. But I did one that was, let's see here. It was um, five by, what does that say, eight. So I just want to give you an example. I only sewn a part of it so I can show you an idea of what I did that is so very simple, nothing fancy about it. Um, I used the inside fabric here. As you can see, I only sewn half of it to show you what I did. So what I did is there's the embroidered piece. I did a piece of nice cardstock paper in the middle and I put the fabric right there. And I just pretty much did a zigzag stitch on half of it. Of course, I didn't show you it finished because I want to give you an idea. And that gave a pretty good size. You can see here, of course, I didn't finish it, but I just want to give you an idea of how you can make one uh, kind of thing. You can make it this size or you can make it larger, but it give you a pretty good size. And again, this is my gift. I haven't even dug into the kit yet. I'm showing you a different um, pieces because they're all so different. It's hard to show you one of them because they're all made so differently kind of thing. But hey, that's a $15 savings and the kit is only $25. So to in all, you know, all instead of free shipping, I figured a great gift like this. The kit is packed, only $25. You're getting a great savings. So that is a good start, right? <laughs> so again, if you want a different color, I can switch out the color. Say if you're not going to make a Christmas theme junk journal, you want to use the cover for something else. But let's dig into the pack. As you guys can see, I have some battle wounds here. I've been cutting, you know, I'm a more fabrics, right? You know, so I do a lot of cutting of fabric. I, for the life of me, I've been trying not to hurt myself. I have so many different types of scissors to eliminate the battle wounds of just cutting so much. So I have band-aids to cover up my wounds. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, lately, because there's so much fabric bundles being sold. 
especially the India fabrics and products is just really getting me. Um, maybe I should hire someone to cut so I could save my fingers. Okay, let's dig on in. Um, I'm just going to show you guys so you guys have an idea. What you see in this kit is pretty much similar to every kit. It's hard to make things exactly the same because the vintage papers and pieces are all so different. But this is an example of one. I just pulled the very first one um, to give you guys an idea. You will have a nice large piece of vintage linen uh, tablecloth. Uh, who doesn't like poinsettias for Christmas? And it's a pretty good size that goes in each one. You're going to have vintage postcards. Um, you will have like a variety, which you'll see here, trims. You'll get full packs of items. Like this is green. This pack has green. And this has 10 yards. And this color is moss. Um, this is lace. This here is like three yards. You'll get a spool of thread. And you're going to get some like yeah, beautiful you know, eyelash trim stuff. Um, you'll be getting beads, which I put them in this tray thing to give you guys an idea. Different kinds of beads to embellish. You'll get a tiny, I'm going with the tiny stuff first, guys, as you can see. You will get stamps. You will get vintage um, buttons, which everyone loves buttons. Yeah, you'll get playing cards, which I have more in here. Um, I'll show you here in a minute, but they're all Christmas, like Santa or snowman. You'll see stamps, of course. We got a bunch of beautiful stamps. There'll be a variety of stamps kind of thing. Buttons, of course. These are actual vintage retro buttons here. These are newer buttons, which is fine. I usually like to stick with the old, but I did have those for some reason. So um, you will get doilies, like the smaller doilies. They won't be large. They'll be like this. Some beautiful Christmas stuff, which is, oh yes, I forgot. I wonder if I, because I made these about, geez, um, a few months back. I just grabbed them. I just kind of didn't want to forget. I had them all pre-made. They're already to ship out today, guys. Um, but I was wondering if they're all Christmas themed. Probably wondering what I'm doing with the vintage slides. I think there's two red vintage slides in each one. We're, as we dig, we'll probably find the other one, if not. But this looks like they're all 1950s. Um, this one here has like a vintage car and a house kind of thing. Okay, these are really cool. These are vintage playing cards. I don't know what game it was, but they're Christmas. Look at I've never seen like a vintage game cards that were Christmas. I guess I should have grabbed the box to see what the, so you kind of see. I did five of them in each. I got, gosh, those would be cool in pockets, right? Doilies. Oh my gosh. I got these vintage doilies packs. These are not new doilies. These are vintage doilies, but look how cool these are. Look like snowflakes. You'll get this many in each kit. So you guys know I did an assembly line. Look at that one. Look like a snowflake. Oh my gosh. It's that one. This one has hearts. You will get vintage uh, napkins. And I don't know how many is in this one. There's more in here too. There's a whole lot. Looks like we got poinsettias. Oh, this I must have thrown on top of here. This doesn't go here. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. They're in here. Hang on here. There we go. You won't get that many. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. So this here. So this one has one, two, three, four. There should have been five. So here we go. I must have threw that accidentally on it. So you get this one's a poinsettia. And as you know, vintage napkins, you can, goodness, it's probably my husband. You get a whole lot on the whole entire thing. These are pretty large. This one's really cool. Like I said, they're a variety. So what you see here is pretty much similar. Aren't they so different? These are things I collected over time. Here's the smaller one. There's this one. And of course, Christmas tree. So you got that. Of course, guest checks. Look at these cool vintage green playing cards. Found those, thought those were cool. Library cards, great in case you're making those books. Tags, I'm not sure, a vintage button gone in there. Okay, so we got trim. This is a whole yard. You get a whole yard of candy cane trim. This kit also has a candy cane pens. Each kit has like a candy cane pen, which is really cool that goes on top. They come in tomorrow. So it's just the timing of those. I was just so frustrated. But I usually love Amazon, but a little frustrated about that. Okay, as we go, guys, there's so much. Then you get an envelope here with a bunch of other envelope stuff. All these, all the cards that are in each one um, are brand new. Well, they're vintage new. They're not written in. They all come with an envelope. 
as you can see here is this one Isn't that cool and i kept the envelope with each one so you get one two three cards and that cool that are are usable so if you want to use them for christmas cards or for your journals this here so you get all kinds of different things this one has an embroidery kit look at so i put like cool unique things in each one um, this one says joy you could cross stitch um, a joy stocking for somebody for christmas we got the the recipe cards for better homes and gardens it's like one two three four in each which is really cool oh another one of those it looks like this came with a booklet too the recipe booklet there's the envelope okay so each one when you first get your kit you're everyone's going to get one of these large look at that large envelope guys and that cool i could totally see you guys use that for two different journals or for storing of what you're doing totally christmas colors and each kit also will come with it's in here somewhere there you are one of those large um bags see here you can see that if my my zoom is too close or what have you if i'm not speaking too loud on my speaker too so which you can use for journaling or actually you wrap your gift um, of your journals in aren't they so cool so each one gets those you'll get um some some cardstock scrapbooking pages this one so happens to have this i already folded in half so i could fit this kit in a great proper package you know so that one had those of course we have oh yeah each kit comes with a vintage tablecloth page it's pretty good size i left the white on the back but look at the cute points that is that's a vintage like paper tablecloth i'm sure you guys can use that for something oh, i haven't even got to the pages each kit will have will have a stencil oh i forgot about that so each one's different this is christmas trees there's all kinds of red or it doesn't matter what color to stencil but there's different types of like things for stenciling i've never done stenciling but i had a whole pile of them and i thought well hey might as well throw one in each kit right oh here another slide this one here i'm not sure what that is but hey it's a most metal and glass ones <clears throat> what do we got here oh man and i'm still digging so <laughs> you might want to go on over there and grab yourself a kit because i got some beautiful retro christmas papers Okay, into the idea. Looks like I've already put it in one of these things. Ooh, told you guys. You're gonna get a bunch of Christmas playing cards. Those are great for tags. And they're totally retro, aren't they so cool? You get a bunch of those. All right, so it looks like I opened up, this looks like this was one of the covers of one of the ideas. So what I did was with the leftover idea books, I had given each kit like an ideal book cover. Not every kit has them, but I, I just gave them to you guys kind of thing. I didn't keep them. I figured you might be able to use it for something, but look how cool. And then plus this will show you guys the era of the book. Um, they were the, not the glossy pages. The first cover of this is a little glossy, but the inside's really cool. All right, so we'll get another playing card, guys. So we have one, two, three, four. It looks like five. I have five playing cards in each. Look how cool. I do have these cards in my shop. Um, by the, I think I don't know how many cards are in a pack for like $5, but, um, I had those in a shop as well. All right. Papers. Dun, 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 dun. Look how many papers I got going on here. Okay. So it looks like a whole lot. Well, here we go, guys. I can't wait to show you the papers. And that's so freaking cool. I could say freaking cool, right? <laughs> so you can have an idea. These are all from vintage ideal books. Look at that one. Memories, Christmas Memory Lane. How cool is that? I'm telling you guys, you can't go wrong, right? This one. Look at the candy canes. Oh, I love that page. I forget, this is 1952. Isn't that cool? Looks like they have the copyright on every one of them. Yeah, I, I think Christmas, retro Christmas reminds me of my childhood because, hey, I'm a, I was born in the 70s. Can I give you guys an idea? I'm going to go through kind of slowly. Look at the cool elves. Not go wrong, guys. I'm There's a ton of beautiful Christmas music sheets, too. I know every year I get um, requests on, can you just put together a Christmas music sheet pack for me? But it's so hard. 
to come across um, just music sheets, you know, um, that are that theme, just Christmas. Look how old these guys are. How cool. It's cute. And that one. All right. And then it looks like here you'll get first day issue envelopes. There'll be, I think, two in each one. So if those who don't know what a first day of issue envelope is, um, they're like collector envelopes where the first day of issue, like the stamp of that year came out and the envelope came out. This one was 1995. Um, those vintage stamps came out with that envelope and that's that first day those stamps were issued. They stamped that envelope and then that is your collector piece. So each will have one or two. They are Christmas themed, so you know. So it looks like this here is a pile of different, um, these are computer like printer sheet kinds of papers. Let's see what we have here. Looks like it had a great variety of Christmas. Those are great for like when you guys are doing your printables because they're white on the back and they have a beautiful theme on the front. So let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, cute, huh? Six, seven, eight, Nine. How cute. It's nice because no matter which side, it's, it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sheets. Can't beat that, right? 14 sheets. And look at here. Oh, that's right. So it looks like here we got another card. We have put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven playing cards, guys. That's pretty good. Um, I had so many decks of them, so I was I could be more generous, you know. Oh, look how cool is that Joker. Oh, now that is, that is cool. Anyone who's wanting, who was buying this kit today, first person who wants this exact kit, when you purchase it, just message me. It's first come, first serve, because that is really cute. All right, so I did vintage, oh my gosh, these beautiful coloring page pages. Um, I think I still have these in the shop as a pack, but I think they sold out. I'm not sure. They may still be there. If they are, they're under junk journal supplies. Um, came across one of those really old vintage coloring books. Oh my gosh. I remember my grandma taking me to, I don't know if you guys have a Kmart in your area to our local Kmart and buying them for me. And they're, these are what they are. They're the coloring pages. It's like the coloring activity book pages. And like this here, what color was Nicholas St. Nicholas Beard. And then you have the game pieces. There's so many cool. And there's game things on each side. Color by number. Look at this one. Christmas card. You can make your own Christmas card to and from. That is cute. Oh my gosh, that's the front of the card. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, how to make snowflake and toys. I have to say that's cool, huh? And then, like I said, you get music sheets. I know I'm adding a few more. I made a full page. So I know sometimes with putting in your journaling, that is nice. And they're all Christmas. And then gift bags. Let's see what else. <coughs> Excuse me. I took some water. I got a tickle in my throat. Oh yeah, some more music pages. Again, these are all Christmas. This was cool. I got this out of a vintage Noel book. And um, every pack has this. I think one or two of these. <coughs> oh, let me get my coffee really quick. <coughs> Good man. All right, so this one here. And it looks so like... I think it's the actual Christmas Carol, you know, isn't it cool? So I did like one or two in each pack. Looks like this one has one time card. Of course, these trifold time cards that you can make. My husband is really insisting on getting hold of me. And then like um, each pack will have like an activity to work, not activity, creative project you can do. Like this one here is a cross stitch Santa that you can put on bags or whatever else you want to do. But it has the actual cross stitch diagram and instructions on how to do that cross stitch, which I think is really cool because I would do this and that Santa's really cute. So there you guys have it. I made a, excuse me, huge mess, but grab it while you can guys. Merry Christmas <laughs> to you guys. Um, and today I am stocking shop. There's a whole bunch I need to stock before pre-Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy this and hey, I hope I help you through the next project. Have a good one, guys.